It's an everyday thing to see a roadside mechanic, to see a mechanic everywhere. I mean, people use cars a lot, especially in a country like Nigeria, where Nigerians like cars and they see cars as, um, as a form of achievement. But what is not common, however, is to see someone that has a BSc and an MSc choosing, quote and unquote, choosing to be a mechanic. Today, I'm going to be having a sit-down interview with the one and only celebrity mechanic of Oshobo, Wan John. And guys, I want you guys to hear what he has to say. I find this interview very, very exciting. So... Let's get right into it. My name is um, <coughs> Oyewale Yeshiji. I'm a mechanic. I'm based in Oshobo. I'm a native of um, I'm a native of Oshun State, but I grew up in Ibadan. Oshun started. The name one John actually started from way back secondary school. You know, um, my favorite artist then was um, um, Puff Daddy, Sean Puffy Combs. And um, I used to wear all these designers back then, Sean John, Sean John back then. So, you know, so his um, signature, I just love the way he used to sign that Sean John. So, and my confirmation name as a Catholic is John. So combination of Wally and John, coupled with the fact that I'm a real pop daddy fan with Sean John, so one John came to be all the way from I think from since JSS two back then. Yeah, that's how one John came to be. Okay, so after saving in after finishing NYSC 2012, after job hunting a little, you know, in Ibadan. You know, after job hunting and um, trying to make ends meet as a man, so I decided to leave uh, my comfort zone. I decided to leave Ibado and um, come to Oshobo. So I had a friend in Oshobo back then. He made a survey for me and he discovered my boss's workshop, Taflat. So I left Ibado in 2014 to come. A mechanic apprentice so that was when june 2014 to be precise it was during the world cup that i left the battle so since then it was it was really really rough at first it was very very rough it wasn't easy you know but um there were times i really got very 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 tired you know but the end always justifies um, the means then Around early 2015, late 2014, early 2015, just because um, Ife is very near Oshobo, I decided to enroll for my um, MSc in Ife. So I told my boss, I asked for permission that Ogaido Mushivelka with you, like I would like to further my education. Um, will you please allow me to? combine schooling with learning. He said, if I have the strength and capacity, so I enrolled. Back then, um, lectures lectures was uh, Monday to Wednesday. So Monday to Wednesday, I was shuttling Oshobo and Ife. So Thursday to Saturday, strictly workshop. You know, then I finished in 2017, then I went back to the workshop fully. 247, Monday to um, Saturday. 7.30 to 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Always in the workshop, always in the workshop, you know. So, um, as time went on, I started growing my confidence around 2020, 2021. Yeah, 2020, 2021, that's when you know, I started growing confidence, getting jobs on my own, you know. Um, when there are things I find difficult to do, you know, I'll tell my boss, you know. But presently, it's, I'm not done learning. It's mm. not like I'm done learning. I'm not. I only asked for um, permission from my boss to gain more experience on my own. So it's not like I've had my freedom. No, I've not had my freedom at all. I'm still directly under my boss, Taflat. But. Presently and lately, I get, you know, jobs on my own, pick up cars from different locations, bring to Shoko and um, to fix, 
Yeah, so I. Ah, in all honesty, I think it depends on your cycle and it depends on the kind of people you go with. Business in Oshogbo, well, my own kind of, um, in my own line of work, it's been booming. It's been going on well. Though there are a few challenges with this my own line of work and in terms of business, people don't really appreciate skilled workers here. They hardly appreciate skilled workers and when they don't appreciate skilled workers, especially this our line of work, they find it very, very difficult to pay for services. And that is why 85, let me say 90%, 90% of all the jobs I do here in Oshobo are from outside Oshobo. They are from Lagos, Ibadan, mainly southwestern states. Even some people send their cars down from Abuja to me for me to uh, refurbish. You understand? But the good thing, the good thing is that I am always very proud to to associate myself with anything I do in Oshobo because I want people to know that there are actually very highly skilled workers in Oshobo just that we are not as recognized as places in um, Lagos, Ibadan and that's understandable because that's like the main point of attraction for commercial services you understand but business in Oshobo it depends it depends on the kind of cycle and people and caliber of people you actually roam with if it were to be in other places maybe 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 there would have been uh, maybe there would have been an improvement in terms of um, in terms of um, workmanship fees more recognitions, you know, but there's peace of mind in Oshobo. There's hardly, there's hardly any government policy that can disturb your work in as much as you pay the regular um, taxes, fees, unlike some other places whereby almost every week or something you have to pay for money like, before you pay, before you buy a spare part self. You have to pay people as you get, you have to pay people when you enter. So before you think of all these things, all, most of your gains, most of your gains will actually be going to either settling people on the streets, paying for government, paying for police protection, you know. But in my own line of business, Oshobo is not bad. Oshobo is not bad. To be frank, um, when people when people outside there see most of the work I post on social media, they're always surprised that ah, so there's something like this, there's someone like this that is from Oshogu, you know. And most people have suggested that I relocate, I change my location. I said, no, I'm not leaving this place. Until even the people in Lagos, Ibadan, anywhere, until they know that, yes, before you get something done, you can actually come down to Oshun State in Oshogu. You know, that's why when I go and pick up cars, I don't fix it there. I bring those cars from no matter how far it is, if the car cannot move, I arrange a towing vehicle. I tow it down here, I fix it here in Oshobu, then I return it. Never give up. Never give up. Your time will come. See, for people that have started, continue. For people that are about to start, please start. Let me tell you something. Between the years of 2015, to 2020, let me say even 2021, things were very, very rough. You know, in fact, as at that time, I began, I began to think of what most of my friends that started that when I started posting uh, my my line of work on Facebook in 2014-2015. What most of my friends said to me were very discouraging. We ah, she's a mechanic, Oh, when it was around 2020, 2021, especially even after I finished my MSc, you know, imagine finishing MSc. The MSc, the, the MSc actually helped a lot with this work because my thesis that I wrote in MSc had to do with um, technological innovations among auto-allied artisans. So it had to do with um, what I'm doing 
exactly so i now imagine that even after masters nothing did to chop you know but i just did one work it was just one work i did i think january 2021 or 2020 and that work went so viral and people started noticing that there's a mechanic in motion in fact um there are there are so many people from um different organizations and companies in Oshobo that I help to maintain and um, that I help to maintain their cars now. Don't be discouraged. Your, be consistent in advertising. Consistency in advertising. Never give up. The little data you have, post on your WhatsApp, post on your, post on your WhatsApp, post on your um, Twitter, post on your Facebook. Look at your strength. Where are your friends from? Where do you have more attention? If it's WhatsApp, if it's Facebook, if it's Twitter, if it's Instagram, keep posting. Consistency. Just one good job. Just one good delivery. Just one good thing that you are doing is enough to make people notice you. Business thrives well in Oshobo. There's nothing you really want to do. You can order for your stuff in bulk and come and sell here. The beginning is always rough, but everybody must pay their dues. You will not appreciate making profit in your business if you've not really gone through the hard times. So, anybody that wants to start or do anything in Oshogo, please start. Attend social functions, attend social gatherings meet people network tell anybody this is what you are doing this is what you are doing before you know it, just and that's one thing about me there's nothing i need from anywhere i patronize any vendor in Oshobo before i think of anybody from anywhere so we can help each other grow we can help each other move don't be discouraged in fact you can post something on Twitter now. You may not even get any retweets. You may get just one retweet. You will think that people are not seeing, but people are actually seeing. People are seeing you. People are noticing what you are doing. So just continue. Don't be discouraged. Your time will come, honestly. And it is nearer. It is nearer than you imagine. But if you are not so diligent and consistent in what you do, and you start complaining that you are not making sales or people are not noticing you, that is a self-inflicted fault from you. People will only notice you when you go out, when you sell yourself, and when you are consistent with a good product. Your product must be good. Don't just sell something because you want to make money. If you sell something because you want to make money and customers don't get satisfaction for what they buy from you, they will not come back. That is not anybody's fault. It is your fault. In as much as your product is good, whatever you are doing is good, whatever skill you are doing is good, in as much as they are very, very good, don't worry about it. Your time will come. Don't be discouraged. There's money in Oshobo. No, 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 no. There's money in Oshobo. Me, I can tell you for a fact, there's money in Oshobo. Go out now. The social life in Oshobo is very, very high. Oshobo is very, very peaceful. Go, you will meet people. There's always something to be done in Oshobo. You understand? All you need to do is just leave a mark. Leave a mark and let people notice you. Please don't leave Oshobo. And if you've started, continue. Continue, please. If you are about to start, just start no matter how little starts let me use myself as an example i still don't have a permanent workshop for now i have two temporary workshops i'm using but these are places that when you get to you ask of one john you ask of Dorumeko. you know I, I i didn't really start i started with my skills i started with posting jobs that i have done online and jobs kept on coming and i kept on reinvesting my profits in the job so sometimes you may not really need a very big, big, big capital to start. The gain you make from the little you are starting with, reinvest into bigger things. Make it bigger. And before you know it, it is even people in this Oshobo that will start telling. Most of, see most of the cars that I bring into Oshobo now. It's even people from Oshobo here 
that tell their friends, their cousins, their family members that they will to your wife be on my parenting. So please, just make sure you really, really continue. Make, make, don't, don't give up. Just don't give up. My sure. name is Engineer Oyewale Oyetunde Alani Anthony Olatunbosu Adetoyesi Oyesiji. You don't mention John. One John. <laughs> yes. One John. The man cool. One John. That one John is very important. <laughs> now nah, that one John go go. Okay, proper introduction. I'm one John. I'm just one John. The Romeo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very.